I think most, most boxes have been ticked because me and Brooke are with the same promotional team. We're with the same TV network, so the fight can may, be made quite easily. The only one thing is that 147 is where the fight has to be. Uh, at my welterweight division, Kel Brooks admitted that he would, and said yes, he would come down to 147. So if that's, that's half the battle there. So if that can be made, then that's ticking all the boxes, we can get the fight made. Otherwise, you know, there's other names out there. But Kel Brook fight is always going to be there in Britain for us because obviously we're both British. And now I want to fight more in Britain, so I think it'll be ideal to take that big fight. I want it to be, if it's not, if it's not end of the year, it could be early next year. I mean, it would have jeopardised the fight if Kel Brook said that he, would have made, he can't make the weight. Then obviously I was, we would have said, okay, fine, but, or maybe we would have thought of a different situation. But uh, because he said himself, I'll fight your 147, I'm not, I'm not going to let go of that now. He's already said that. And if I'm a natural 147 fighter, then I think it makes more sense for me to stay that way. There's a, there's a few options out there for me, but Pacquiao, in my opinion, is probably option number one. That's a fight I'd love to have because there's a lot of history we have between each other. We've trained with each other, we are friends, but sometimes we have to put our friendship to a side. So I think that'll be perfect. I've had 36 fights, I've been around in the boxing business since, uh, especially as a professional, since I was 18, 19. So I've been in the game a long time, I've had a lot of fights. I'm 31 now, so I want to make sure that the fights I take are the right fights for me. Um, and I want to walk at the sport on top and walk at the sport when I think it's right. So if it is the last fight, it's the last fight. If it's not the last fight, I think, you know, I know I can go on till I'm like 35, 36, but I'd rather short my career because obviously um, it's been quite tough and obviously I've got a family. I want to mix it with them. You know, I want to be normal away from boxing because everything I do in my life is everything all revolves around boxing. So I just want to live that normal, simple life away from boxing sometimes. Um, we always, there's always times in, in, in everyone's career, in, in everyone's life, you have times where you regret things that you've done. So yeah, you know, we all regret, but then you learn from them. And that's one thing about me, I've learned from them. Now, going on to the boxing side, there's been a lot of fights out there which I made mistakes in and I got beat. And then, and the reason I got beat is not because I was, I was a, he was, the person who beat me was a better fighter. It was because I made a mistake. So I always learn from them fights. Um, so, you know, sometimes it's good to have that, you know, go, have that experience, that kind of, experience like a loss or experience a tough time in your life because that changes you as a person, makes you stronger, makes you, you know, a better person mentally.